guys, Votrix here back with another video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make a YouTube banner similar to Casual. I made his YouTube revamp, it was pretty good the revamp and so many people liked it and Casual asked me to make a tutorial on it. So there you go, I'm making it now. And if you don't know who I am, I'm Votrix. I make similar content to Casual and mainly graphics but say I'll do some tutorial like him. If you want to check me out, the link is going to be down below. And let's get started. So I have open Photoshop right here and what you have to do to open this to start with the banner you have to go on file new make sure the width is 2560 and the the second one should be 1440 there's a resolution 72 RGB color transparent pixel with inch pixel pixel and click OK now you have to get the YouTube re the YouTube template which you can search up on Google is gonna be so many of them and you just have to drag it on here and I already did this I have it right here because I wanted to be ready for it so now the part where it is black hair we are not gonna work on it we're gonna work on the part where it's transparent and what I did with casual I made his banner and I added the Overwatch gameplay on the background which you can barely see it of course but uh, that's why I did it because no one's gonna see it because the banner is like black and white mainly so I'm gonna get the overwatch image uh, from Google of course I already got mine I saved it on a different file so you can resize it click and control T shift after you click control T click shift and just drag on the corners like this and you can make it bigger and you can click the tick up here so you just save it and it's gonna be ready so now you can move it with a move tool of course around and you have to drag the layer with the image of this player which I have no idea who it is you have to drag it down from the template from the YouTube banner template and now with the move tool just try and put it down so you can see his head and uh, yeah that's great now what you have, what I did I had a gradient map and I on well, the gradient map on his banner it was green so that's why I saved something like this and the you can choose any color here I'd rather not go for, for a full black one because it's gonna make it look very bad just go for a like a light one I think this one should look good and uh, for the color you can just go for a purple one or because we did casuals band with purple I'm gonna go with something different like blue or probably red. red yeah red should look very good and it's very bright color so after you add the gradient map you have to got, add like a, some effects on the around so I got the brush tool and I made a new layer and make the brush full black and just go around like this but if you can see this one is pretty bad because I didn't put the hardness of the brush up here to zero and now if you do it again it's going to look very good. Just try and do it sometime just on the corners and put the opacity of it around 50% should be pretty good. Yeah. Now add a new layer, get the full white one. And now just add on the top, just a little bit like this and put the opacity down. Now what you have to do, you have to add a CC that I made. Uh, you can, I will leave a link in the description down below for this and I'm of course gonna sk skip this part because the CC that I made for his banner is something like it's very hard to make and I'm not gonna show you how to make that so I'm gonna skip right there so there you go I just added the CC and what I do I just enable it and boom if you can see it has some something like this stock hair and it's black and white which that's what uh, casual's banner is and now you can group everything together if you click shift on the CC uh, on the last layer and click this button here and that's it so you just made the background of it and now I did the text what I did for the text I just added a new layer uh, add the text and write C C S and if I can go close to it because it is, it is pretty small you have to make it big enough so people can see it and make sure you choose a font that stands out and it can be any font I think this font should be good uh, it's like a brush font which looks insane and if I zoom out 
from the file. I click Control A, click this button here, and this button here, and it's gonna center the text and click Control D to deselect. Now what I did for Kajro's banner, I added like a circle and you can of course add any shape from here. It has a rectangle, rounded rectangle, a ellipse, which was the circle. I'm just gonna go for a different shape. I'm gonna go for a rounded rectangle and do it like this. And click shift when you like drag it because if you don't, it's gonna be very messy. And control A and click this button here and here. Control D and you just select it. Now the layer from the rounded rectangle, drag it below the text layer and rasterize it. Now on the text layer, click control and don't click when it says CC, click on the part when it says T. And hide it now when you click on the eye, go on this one here and click delete. Control D now. And of course you have uh, the part with the text is deleted from the rectangle now. And what you can do now is change the color of it. You can right click on it and go on blending options. Go on color overlay. And we thought we were going to do it red. So I'm going to go with red. Yeah. Uh, if I go with something like this. Yeah, this one looks pretty good. Then click OK. And that's it what I basically did for his banner. After I added some social media and stuff like uh, subscribe and stuff like that, like turn on notifications. You can add that a uh, very easy if you add like, if you go and add like a good font called, uh, let's try next a bold, subscribe. Oh wait, subscribe. And yeah, it's very easy to do the other part. It's basically just text without any layer style on the banner that I made for him. But because of the black and white and the color on the middle, it makes it look so good. And I think it's great. You can of course test it out and make it more better. If you add some brush on it, that'd be cool as well. So if you go on this group here, add a new layer, get the brush, make sure it's the same color as this and add some brush around it like if you add something like this, this and this put the opacity down around 20% probably yeah that will make it look very good and you can of course test it out and make it much better you can add your social media on it which I'm not gonna go into it so that's about this video, hope you guys did enjoy make sure to check me out down below, I make similar content to casual if you can see mainly graphics so yeah, so that's about this video, hope you guys did enjoy, my name is Vatrix, and I'm signing out.